Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I created this purple, pinky, orangey type of halo eye look. I asked you guys on Snapchat if you'd rather see a Snapchat tutorial on this look or a YouTube tutorial and by far YouTube won and it's pretty perfect because one of my New Year's resolutions is to just upload more often this year. So along with many more that I'm very excited to bring to my channel but you'll see throughout 2018. Anyway, this is just the eye look for this video. I did not film the whole face um, just because I really wanted to focus on creating this kind of intricate colorful eye. So if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All links are down below. And if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So to start off this look, I am taking a flat concealer brush and my Tarte Tape Shape in Fair Neutral as my eye primer and I'm not setting it. I am using it as its a tacky base and I'm taking the Morphe 35B palette in that first shade and we're using a Morphe M511 brush. I'm going to start blending this color into the top portion of my crease. I usually like to start on the outer C of my eye, but lately I have been starting in this like high brow bone socket because um, I want to build up the most color intensity there and show the different layers of colors that I have going on. This is a new technique that I'm trying to incorporate into my looks and I'm just building this color up until I'm happy with its intensity. I'm then taking this shade from the Kylie Cosmetics Naughty Palette and I'm using the same brush and the same technique and just going over the exact same area. This is like a deeper, brighter version of the last color, so it's going to just stand out a little bit more. And again, I'm just layering on top to create that perfect blend. This is one of those eye looks that your hand is probably going to hurt by the end because it's just so much blending. I'm then taking the mixture of these two pinks with the Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush and just going back and forth a little bit lower than the first two colors and just layering and layering. As you can tell, I layered it to where it's pretty vibrant. It kind of even looks like a velvet hot pink um, type of material on my eye. And then I'm going back with the original brush just to blend out the edges. To deepen this up more, I'm using the same brush and taking this deep magenta color and again, just layering this into my crease until I'm happy with its intensity. If you have fallout, do not worry. We're going to clean that up later. Moving on to purples in this palette, I'm using the Morphe M506. It's a really small, tiny blending brush, perfect for kind of like precision work. And again, layering these up. These two colors gave me a hard time. I find that the purples in this palette really aren't like too friendly. Um, so they do take a little bit of finessing in order to get that nice pigmentation. I'm then going back with the uh, essential crease brush and the first brush we use just to go over everything with no additional product just going over to smooth out any edges I'm then taking this deep burgundy shadow and pretty much just packing this all over the bottom half of my lid just to really darken up the inner and outer corners I'm then taking the ColourPop Supernova shadow and I'm going to be just kind of tracing this up into the center of my lid into my crease you're gonna have to get familiar where your crease touches your eyelid if you have hooded eyes like mine best way to do this is just to dot near your lower i mean your lash line and look all the way up and it'll create like a mark of where your fold will touch the top of your eyelid and that's like where you want to cut your crease essentially once that's dried i'm going to be kind of oh here i'm just kind of fixing it at the top with my mac 252 brush with a little bit more of that supernova shadow which is in the shade Moonlit. And then once I perfected it, cause I wanted like a really sharp edge. And as you can tell, as it's getting closer to the root of my lashes. It's kind of coming down like in a V to create that illusion of like a spotlight. I'm then packing on the Mac Reflex Translucent Pink Glitter with a little tiny shader brush just on the center to brighten it up. I'm then going in with more of that purple color and just a tiny bit of black shadow to deepen up the inner C and outer V. So many of you ask me how I do my wing liner or just my liner in general, and I always use a combination of these two. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Trooper Liner, and I first like to map everything out with this, um, but the one thing I don't like about this liner is that it doesn't dry matte. It stays kind of shiny, which is not my favorite look when it comes to eyeliner. I like a really deep black matte finish. 
but I love the applicator on the tattoo liner. So I like to map it out first and then I go over with a liquid liner, preferably the NYX matte liner or the NYC if you can still get your hands on any because I know they don't make it anymore. I'm then taking a makeup wipe and just wiping away any fallout of pigmentation that fell onto the tops of our cheekbones. Since I am doing the complete eye look before the rest of my face, I'm gonna be just tapping that Tarte Tape Shape with a flat concealer brush on the bottom part of my eye. This is not to be intended as concealer. This is more of just like an eye primer, but for the bottom half of our eye. Um, I don't like the idea of putting shadow or liner on bare skin. I know some artists do that. And if it works for you, it works. For me, I feel like my skin is too oily. I have too many cr little creases on my under eye that it just gets really messy and it's gonna move eventually. So for me, I prefer to do some type of primer or concealer underneath shadow if I am gonna do a complete eye look before the rest of my face. I'm taking a flat shader brush and just lining the root of my lashes with one of the deepest purples that we used for this look and then just layering it on with a pencil brush, some of the purples, and I'm going gradually lighter in reverse order from the shadows that we applied on our top lid. And I'm getting really comfortable with smoking out my lower lash line pretty far. Um, I personally have been enjoying it a lot more and I find that it kind of hides any type of creases or little wrinkles that you may have on your under eyes, so you may want to give it a try if you're brave enough. I'm then going to be aligning my waterline with the NYX white liner and going over with some white shadow to press it on and set it. If you have watery eyes like mine, this is a trick that you might want to try so your liner doesn't move on your waterline. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer on a tiny brush and just brightening up my inner eye socket because I want a really intense inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna leave this a little bit tacky and then going over with the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Skin Frost, which is very white ice type of highlight and I'm just packing that on and as you can tell, it's super bright and super pigmented because of the concealer that we put on underneath. For lashes, I'm gonna be taking the lashes in lucrative from enchanting eyes and these are just your classic full lashes and then of course i finished the rest of my face and this is the completed look mm -hmm. 